I don't know if you people have seen the internet meme where, like, there's a, you have this picture of, like, a horse. Something big is happening with Ethereum. Ethereum price eyes 3K as exchanges ETH balances drop to an all-time low. So looking at the data from Glassnode, exchange balances for ETH reached a new low of 12.6%, dropping sharply in the last 30 days. Reduced supply on exchanges is usually a bullish sign as it means fewer tokens are readily available for selling. And looking at the chart, this is Ethereum, by the way, on all exchanges, not just US, not just Asian, but all exchanges. And while this shows price and price in black and exchange balance in blue from January 2018 till today, we can see actually since July 2020, but then actually the sharpest declines at the end of 2022, and then just a few weeks ago, the trend seems to be clear. Even Vitalik, the creator of Ethereum, has got jokes against centralized exchanges. There's a darker side to centralized exchanges, right? Uh, we here recognizes some of the people in this photo. Yeah. Right. So centralized exchanges are, you know, also sometimes, uh, you know, not very uh, trustworthy. Uh, they, you know do stuff, and uh, sometimes they decide that they're better at having fun with your money than you are. <laughs> and while I will share with you one more Vitalik clip, let's actually break this down because the ETH supply leaving exchanges is not actually for the reasons you may think. The net flow volume of deposits and withdrawals from exchanges shows a steep surge in withdrawals at the start of June amid a regulatory crackdown on Binance and Coinbase. So this data should be taken with a grain of salt as withdrawals were caused by investors spooked by centralized exchanges. And that tracks. We see, well, first off, the overall trend is not invalidated. This is good no matter what the reason is. Take your ETH, take your crypto off of exchanges. I love that. But the sharpest withdrawals were in the FTX collapse. You can see right here, this was a huge outflow. And then just recently with this SEC Coinbase Binance crackdown. So now you know why you have that knowledge. It doesn't have to, but in November, it did lead to a 33% price increase. So supply went down, price went up, supply just went down, and we have yet to see that pop yet. But now adding in staking, the amount of supply being taken off and putting in staking contracts, at the same time, ETH's supply locked and staking contracts has surged significantly since April's Shopala upgrade. Currently, over 23 million ETH is deposited in staking contracts, representing 19.1 of the total supply, meaning roughly one in five of every Ethereum in existence, one in five is staked. And why this matters is because staked ETH just hit its 20 million milestone, doubling since the start of this year. In fact, staked Ether is becoming so popular that the raw number of ETH staked on the Ethereum blockchain is about to surpass the total amount of Ether that is kept on all crypto exchanges. Even banking giant JP Morgan continues to use Ethereum, at least their permissioned, centralized stablecoin on top of it. JP Morgan activates Euro payment settlement with its JPM coin. So they've expanded to Europe, and four years in, with the existence of JPM Coin, the financial giant's JPM Coin has been used internally to settle about $300 billion in payments total. So a permissioned blockchain is a distributed ledger, but it's not publicly accessible. It's just for them. They control it. And the bank said that JPM Coin is only made available to its institutional clients and only for settling payments. So they're not using XRP, they're not using even USD coin, they made their own. And the news today is this, the JPM coin transaction, the first ever for its corporate clients in Europe, this first ever transaction in Europe was conducted by Siemens AG, a large Germany-based conglomerate in a Euro denominated payment on JPM, JP Morgan's permission blockchain. And while JPM coin is not a central bank digital currency, it's merely just a BDC, just a bank, a major bank, digital currency, Vitalik's on stage warning you, warning me about CBDCs in general. 
I don't know if you people have seen the internet meme where like there's a, you have this picture of like a horse and the left side of the horse is like this really beautiful and like real photorealistic drawing. And then as you get closer to the right edge of the horse, you get something that looks like it was drawn by a five year old. And like the left side is, is like theory and the right side is, and like the middle is like plan and the right side is like consumer facing implementation right and like cbdc's are basically like that right like and big news for sponsor of the channel bitget hello labs announces bitget's gracie chen on killer whales reality tv show i am super excited about this so at the end of today's video i will share with you more information just because we're just about to start filming this week but it's cool to see gracie chen the managing director at bitget join the squad and the newest addition to the show, Gracie Chen, heads up BitGet's growth strategies since she joined the company in 2022. Now, just for some background on BitGet, they're a top five derivatives exchange, as well as a top 10 spot exchange, as well as a partnership with Lionel Messi. And for you, you can always go into the video description of any altcoin daily video for perks slash info. A great exchange to buy and trade Bitcoin is BitGet get up to $5,000 in rewards just by completing tasks. Only the first 1,000 people do get the full rewards, but link down below, check it out. And something new, they are doing a little incentives competition, which you can take advantage of. And some of the prizes include one Bitcoin, which is awesome, a messy merch bag, copycat bag, sports kit, two English Premier League tickets for August, as well as trading bonuses, etc. Now, obviously, terms and conditions apply, but the campaign has started and goes until July 10th and participate. So opt in. You get one chance to spin the wheel, complete KYC verification, get another chance to spin the wheel, deposit at least $100, another chance, et cetera, et cetera. Again, incentives like this won't last forever. So link down below. Check it out. And I thought this was really valuable. A direct quote on Gracie Chen joining the show. Gracie comes from heaps of experience in global Web3 markets, technology, execution, and corporate strategy, elements that we all analyze and find when vetting projects. We are excited for her to share her knowledge and expertise and provide invaluable takeaways to the entrepreneurs who enter killer whales. In other news in the Ethereum world, Board Ape Yacht Club, one of the biggest ETH NFT collections, their NFT prices are plunging. Why? Well, actually, it's a lot of the blue chips. The floor price of CryptoPunks and Board Ape Yacht Club dropped by nearly 8 and 7% respectively over the last 24 hours. Nansen's blue chip 10 index of the top 10 NFT collections in existence has dropped 31% year to date. And why is that? Especially Board Ape Yacht Club. Why are they seeing the most sells? In recent weeks, the Board Ape Yacht Club has sustained sharper losses with the floor price, or the cheapest listed NFT on the secondary market, falling nearly 19% over the last 30 days, and a board ape today, the price, starts at around 36.4 ETH, or around $68,000, which is nearly the cheapest they've ever been. And by the way, this has already bounced. Now it's back up above 40, but that is near the lowest it's ever been. That's the lowest board ape floor price in ETH terms since November 2021, when the project had just started taking flight. We also have Mutant Ape Yacht Club prices down 26% in ETH terms over the last 30 days, now starting at 7 ETH floor price, as well as CryptoPunks have fallen less than 3% in the same time frame. At the peak of board apes price back in 2021, the floor price was 152 Ethereum. Actually, that was April 2022 which is worth almost half a million dollars. That is the video. And I do just want to give a brief update all this week. So for the next four or five days, my brother and I will be filming that Web3 crypto TV show, Killer Whales. I will try and post some pictures on Twitter when my brother and I are there. So make sure you stay subscribed and actually follow us on Twitter. There's a link down below. But just expect some awesome interviews for the next four or five days. Here is just a teaser. What I worry about, I worry about holding gold. That's what, you know, if, you, if you're asking me what do I fear, I, I don't fear anything if I, if I actually have the superior asset. If I was a gold holder, I would fear. It's not really a question of worrying about Bitcoin. <laughs> you ought to worry about everything else. So the fear, the fear really is 